Hi guys, it's Becky here at Sweet Haven Homestead. So now that we've added onto our sheep flock, we've got 13 sheep in total. Still not much, but it's, it's enough <laughs> to manage. Um, we find it's really hard to try to catch them all, to um, take care of them, like trim their feet and give them their dewormers and just check them over, generally that sort of stuff. So, um, for large facilities, usually have um, <clears throat> sheep handling systems. So it's a big pen with a crowding tub that you kind of herd them into, and then you use gates to squish them down this narrow chute where you kind of trap them, and they've got nowhere to go forward, backward, sideways, and you can take care of them that way. So those are really nice, and metal, and and lightweight and just really nice setups of course but there are thousands of dollars that we don't have to invest currently down the road i'm sure we will we will invest in one but right now with only 13 um we need something but not quite the investment so we've made our own out of pallets <laughs> what else we're the pallet farmers um so here we've made we're just starting to set it up. So yesterday we made the parts for it. We made uh, two panel walls, pallet walls. That's gonna be our chute down here. Um, so Mark's just currently attaching it to the current wall there. Um, and then we'll be attaching the two pieces together and making um, gates to keep them. So um, as we move along, I'll let you know what we're doing and show you how it hopefully is all going to work. So here we've got the walls measured, uh, the distance we want in between them. We wanted 18 inches in between the chute. It seems to be standard, I guess. Um, so we've attached a soft brace on the front and on the back, and now we're setting up the brace for the gate that's going to be in the middle to keep the sheep in. I got one sheep trapped already. <laughs> so we've got the uh, bottom brace, top brace, our chute. In the middle we have, we're gonna have a guillotine gate that um, keeps the sheep up front where we want it without backing up and stuff. So there's our brace with our pulley. And now we're gonna set up the gate part of it. Daisy's checking everything out. <laughs> okay, so here's our almost finished project. Product. We don't have the um, gate on the front here yet because we haven't made that yet. Um, but here's our chute. The ground is kind of unlevel here, so it's a bit awkward. But um, here is our livestock panel, which will open and close to herd the sheep into the back of the chute, so into this corner. And then the sheep will then go through the back where they'll be stopped by the gate. And then we pull the gate up, the sheep goes through, drop the gate down, and then theoretically you've got a sheep trapped in this section here because there'll be a gate on the front, and then you can drench them and um, give them their shots and whatever else you need to do to them. That's the plan, anyway.
job, Daisy. Daisy, come on. Come on, where are you going to push